Welcome to Are You Sure? Now, Raphael has advanced to round number three. You've already won $50. Do you want to continue to round three? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So round three, if you pass it successfully, you will win $100. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Question number one. What was the name of Adam's third son? Seth, Abe, Cain. Seth. Are you sure? Yes. So let's see if your answer is correct. Genesis 4.25 says, Adam made love to his wife again, and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth, saying, God has granted me another child in place of Abel since Cain killed him. So very good. You answered that successfully. Are you ready for question two? Yes. Let's see question two. Question two. Before Isaac died, what did he want Esau to do for him? To hunt for and cook his favorite meal, move away from us, you have become too powerful for us, or that you will do to us no harm, just as we did no harm to you, but always treated you well and sent you away peacefully. To hunt for and cook his favorite meal. Are you sure? Yes. Let's see the answer. Genesis 27.4 says, prepare me the kind of tasty food that I like and bring it to me to eat so that I may give you my blessing before I die. So yes, you are correct. Congratulations. Are you ready for question three? Yes. Let's see question three. When Jacob left, where did Esau go to find a wife? The descendants of Ishmael, the descendants of Laban, the descendants of Haran. The descendants of Ishmael. Are you sure? Yes. Let's find the answer. Genesis 28, 9. So he went to Ishmael and married Mahalatha, the sister of Nebaloth and the daughter of Ishmael, son of Abraham, in addition to the wives he already had. So yes, you are correct. Congratulations. You're already at question four. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's see question four. How was Rachel related to Jacob? She was his mother's niece and his uncle's daughter, relative of her father, son of Sarah. She was his mother's niece and uncle's daughter. Are you sure? Yes. The answer? Genesis 29.10. When Jacob saw Rachel, daughter of his uncle Laban, and Laban's sheep, he went over and rolled the stone away from the mouth of the well and watered his uncle's sheep. So yes, very good. Now to the fifth and final question. Are you ready? Yes. So you'll complete this round successfully if you answer this question. Mm -hmm. How long did Jacob originally agree to work for Laban to marry Rachel? Five years, seven years, 13 years. Seven years. Are you sure? Yes. Let's find the answer. In Genesis 29, 18, it says, Jacob was in love with Rachel and said, I'll work for you seven years in return for your younger daughter, Rachel. So yes, you are correct. So far, you've won $100. If you complete all five questions of level four, you'll get to $250. Do you want to continue? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, question number one. What did Laban want Jacob to stay? Laban was being blessed while Jacob was there. For Jacob to take care of his flock, so that Jacob would plant in his land. Laban was blessed. Laban was being blessed while Jacob was there. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's find the answer. Genesis 30, 27 says, And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thine eyes, tarry, for I have learned by experience that the Lord had blessed me for thy sake. So yes, you are correct. Congratulations. Question number two, are you ready? Are you sure? Yes. All right. Who was in prison with Joseph? Pharaoh's chief butler and chief baker, the chief justice, or the president of the court? Pharaoh's chief butler and chief baker. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's find the answer. Genesis 40 verse 2 says, And Pharaoh was wroth against two of his officers, against the chief of the butlers and against the chief of the bakers. So, yes, congratulations. You answered that correctly. Are you ready for question number three? Yes. All right, let's find the question. Where was Joseph taken as a slave? He was taken to Egypt. He was taken to Jordan. He was taken to Canaan. 
He was taken to Egypt. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's find the answer. Genesis 39, 1 says, and Joseph was brought down to Egypt. Congratulations. Okay, question number four. Do you need a break or are you ready? No, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. How old was Isaac upon his death? 180 years, 170 years, 160 years. 180 years. Are you sure? Yes. You seem unsure. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's, have, let's find out the answer. Genesis 35 verse 28 says, Isaac lived 180 years. Nice job. Fifth and final question of round four. You're taking this round four very quickly. That's awesome. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. What did Dina's brothers do to the men of the city of Sheshem? The brothers went into the city and killed all the males and took spoil. The brothers went into the city to take them hostage. The brothers went into the city and they imprisoned them. The brothers went into the city and killed all the... It says kill all the males and killed took all the spoil. Males and took the spoil, yeah. Is that your answer? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's find out if that's correct. In Genesis 34, 36, it says, They put Hamer and his son Sheshem to the sword and took Dina from Sheshem's house and left. The sons of Jacob came upon the dead bodies and looted the city where their city where their sister has been defiled. So yes, you are correct. All right, Raphael, you have advanced to level five. So far, you've won $250. If you complete this final level, you will win the grand prize of $400. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, question number one. What did Israel send with his sons to Egypt? The money for the first grain was sent with them, a gift offering, and Benjamin. The money for the first grain offering was sent to them, and a gift offering, and Judah. The money for the first grain offering was sent with them, a gift offering, and Joseph. The money for the first grain was sent with them, a gift offering, and Benjamin. Are you sure? Yes. All right, let's find the answer. Genesis 43, 11 says, then their father Israel said to them, If it must be, then do this. Put some of the best products of the land into your bags and take them down to a man as a gift, and little balm and little honey, some spices and myrrh, some pistachios, nuts, and Benjamin. Very good. So you answered that correctly. Question number two. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. What did Joseph tell his steward to put in Benjamin's sack? His personal silver cup, his personal ring, his personal shoes. His personal silver cup. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's look at the answer. In Genesis 44 verse 2 it says, Then put my cup, the silver one, in the mouth of the youngest one's sack, along with the silver for his grain. And he did as Joseph had said. Congratulations. Good job. Question number three. How many descendants of Jacob were now in Egypt? There were 70 members of Jacob's family at that time. There were 60 members of Jacob's family at that time. There were 50 members of Jacob's family at that time. There were 60 members of Jacob's family at that time. Are you sure? Oh. Do you want to look at the answers again? Would you like me to repeat them? Yes. So the question says, how many descendants of Jacob were now in Egypt? Your answer choices are, there were 70 members of Jacob's family at that time, there were 60 members of Jacob's family at that time, or there were 50 members of Jacob's family at that time. Um, I would go with, yeah, there are 60 members of Jacob's family at that time. Okay, are you sure? Final answer? Yes. Okay, let's look at the answer. Genesis 46, 27. When the two sons who had been born to Joseph in Egypt, the member of Jacob's family, which went to Egypt, were 70 in all. So, Raphael, congratulations. You made it successfully through four rounds. You didn't make it through the fifth, but don't worry. You did an awesome job as our first contestant. And, of course, your prize is $250.
Congratulations. Are you happy? Yes. Go ahead, open it. Are you counting the money? Yeah. I promise it's real money. <laughs> so congratulations, Raphael, for being an awesome first contestant. Thank you to all our viewers and everyone who watched the show. See us next time for our second contestant in Are You Sure?